Hey Aaron, this is Matthew. I just wanted to give you a sense of what a thousand dollar bad cats looks like in Pennsylvania. Anyway, um, I'll show you the game first and then start it up so you can see and describe sort of what I would do further to make this game play a little bit better. But um, starting with the back glass, it's, it's all in pretty much perfect shape. The back box animation works. The displays are nice and bright. Um, the plastics look pretty good, although I do have that replacement set. Some of them are cracked and broken. The main issue really is the condition of the play field. And as you can see, there's a lot of wear. Um, there's some inset wear around the seafood wheel. Then the most wear is down here at the bottom in between the flippers, where you can see the cats are really worn away and um, the inserts are pretty badly worn too. So this game would probably be a good candidate for a playfield swap if that was something uh, you were interested in checking out. The cabinet is in pretty good shape, not great shape. A lot of these games are super faded. This one's not faded, but it definitely needs some TLC. It's quite orange. I'm not sure that color is going to come out in this video, but um, you can see someone, I guess a kid, must have stuck a sticker on it. There's a sticker right here. Um, but otherwise, the cabinet is in pretty good shape. Let's check out this side. It's kind of stuck in some of my games. You can see there's some bad touch up here. Um, but I'm not sure how much of this is going to come out in the video. But just to show you the cabinet's not in such bad shape, although it, it also needs a little bit of TLC. So here I'm going to start a game and you can get a sense of it with that super fun music. Now, there are a few things I would do. One of them is to better secure the center ramp. If You can see it jiggle a little bit when you, when you hit it. But I'm just going to trigger some of these things myself rather than awkwardly play a ball. These drops work pretty well. These are a little sluggish so I think I would change the springs on a couple of them. This ramp is missing a plastic here and it needs to be better secured to the play field. So that's something I would do. This fish bonus thing back here does register hits but the spring is in the wrong place, so I would put the correct spring back in there. And there's also a little bit of a loose um, lane divider up here that I would put an insert on the bottom. Um, ooh, it thinks something's missing. All right, let's 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 see the seafood wheel. I'm not sure how many times you have to hit this thing to, uh, here we go, the seafood. So that's that exciting feature. And it lands on seven, which is extra ball. Yay. All right. This should just give you a sense. I mean, there are a couple of play field lights out, but that's not a big deal. Anyway, it's a pretty good working game in decent cosmetic shape, except for the play field. Um, I think it's a pretty good project. But anyway, I'll post this and see what you think about it.